Princess <laughs> Serene Singh. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here right now. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Yeah. So, Serene, you're 19 years old mm -hmm. and you just won Miss Colorado Teen. I did, yes. So, today on the show, we're talking about, focus, we're focusing on body mm -hmm. image, health, yep. and just bettering ourselves. Yeah. So we'd love to hear about what made you enter this pageant. Four years ago, I got a little mail. Um, it was an invitation to the pageant. And I remember thinking, this is a scam, this is a joke. Mm -hmm. And then it had something addressed to me and I was like, okay, someone knows my wow. name, someone yeah. knows that I Freaky. live here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> someone knows something about so me. So it could either be really <laughs> creepy or like desperate. Like yeah, right? yeah. Right? yeah, and it really was a risk. Absolutely, it right. was totally fate. And it was a risk that I was just like, okay, I should just try it out, see how it goes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's funny, because I was telling people, I always used to um, make fun of pageants. Right. Um, right. So in speech there's and debate, like, like a stereotype. There's on such it. a stereotype and stigma, and it's something that debaters do all the time. Mm -hmm. Like you just, you know, you see Miss USA is messing up things on line and I on mean, television. I think I've watched mm -hmm. that video so many times. Miss South Carolina, <laughs> South Carolina, yeah, where yeah. she's like fish and, and equator. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like what or are you talking such about? Women? Yeah, such as yeah. Africa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's always a classic. So I mean, and that's what I knew pageantry to be yeah. for a long time. And I was telling Grove this too, but. I used to use that all the time, and those jokes always worked. But then at some point, I was like, okay, Serene, you only know what you've seen on TV. Let's just see if they're actually right and what your right. stereotype is. You don't want to like, if it's judge actual. something before actually knowing Competing it for in yourself. it, yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, something is totally in this place. So I was like, okay, they have a talent competition. I'm going to go there. I'm going to do Bhangra. I'm oh, going to do my speech and debate thing. Nice. I'm just going to book it. You know, I'm just going to leave. I don't even yeah. care who wins the title. I'm just going <laughs> to see if I'm right about this. Yeah. Um, and I got there, and that was what I was expecting, just to showcase Bhangra, showcase my speech and debate, and then walk away, kind yeah. of happy that I tried it out. Um, and I made top 10. And awesome. Wow. It top and you 10 didn't expect first, it? Not at I all. Out of how many not other contestants? All. That was the biggest year, actually, for the division, and I think it was more than 150. Wow. It was a That's lot cool. of girls, and I mean, I so had a- So how many people try, like, do this interview? <laughs> that is nuts. Yeah, that they narrowed exactly. down they to They narrowed down to the state finalists. People, yeah, probably. there's plenty of people. Wow. It's such a positive thing that they, they won out to actually choose a colored person. Yes. Because when you think That's Colorado, what do mm -hmm. you honestly think? You don't think of yeah. Indian people yeah, as absolutely. being Absolutely. I mean, my oh, first, so my first yeah. thought about yeah. it, I was like, I wonder, I, she's probably the only Indian girl in yeah. here. How did you feel diversity played into this? I mean, I've never seen a pageant more diverse than the one that I'm competing in. Oh, wow. Obviously, there are different pageants like Miss Black you know, United States, there's Miss mm -hmm. Indian United States. There yeah. are those different specific pageants where you have mm -hmm. to be of that ethnicity to compete right. even. Um, but in terms of like general, like anyone like can whole compete opening. Kind of yeah, thing. diversity is valued, I think. And wow. especially in my talent and everything, I've never felt out of place with that. I kind of just want to showcase that. And I right. always wondered, like, do you have to be, is it being original too, too, too much? Too much? Yeah. Does it kind of like, too mm. sus for us. It is <laughs> Ooh, it's not <laughs> Wednesday. You know why? It's That's because funny. she just flew in from the Denver International Airport. Oh, oh my god. god! What? No one likes DIA if, here. If you no, guys want to see that, watch our clip about uh, the Denver International mm -hmm. Airport. And you guys have a clip on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. It's, you know it's on our two Yeah, sets. she told me a couple of things she did. Uh, well, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. But we digress. Let's get back but to her. That's so funny. I have some questions for you. Like, yeah. How did you feel like this pageant affected like your self-esteem or your body image? Did you have to mm -hmm. do anything that required you like being dieting in a or something. Or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially mm -hmm. seeing all these other girls, mm -hmm. I mean, in, in their beautiful evening gowns, did you ever feel like, oh God, I need to lose 10 pounds or I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm not gonna win this. Or like because I need I'm, to I gain look, something yeah. to like fill out a dress, you yeah. know, did yeah. you ever feel that way? Yeah, I mean, I mean there, was, there was a big change in yeah. the way I saw myself and the way I saw other girls. And I think it gets to any girl, mm -hmm. like, oh, that girl must be prettier or oh, that girl must have a better body than me. And right. that, those are natural thoughts we have on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, but I think, it's really important, especially for young Indian girls, to realize if it's through pageantry, through modeling, or something else, it's important to be confident in their own skin, oh, right? Yeah. That individual inner beauty mm -hmm. is something that will showcase on the outside. I mean, between the third and fourth year was a really hard time for me because I thought that was my final year and I placed lowest than I had before. And, and I lowest thought, as what? in I was third place, guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's but she went from lowest. going, you know, second, first runner up? Yeah, yeah. To being second runner up, and that must have yeah. been like a punch to the gut. It, it really was, mm -hmm. because that was that was the year everyone was like, this is your year, oh. this is your time to win. You know, oh, everyone's like, man. third time's a charm. And I was like, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna take this. And I thought that was my last year to compete too. And after you work that hard and it gets closer, closer, you're like, okay, that's the only spot left for me. And then you mm -hmm. go down, you yeah. know? Um, so that transition time is where I learned the most. Yeah. And I realized, yeah, I, mean, I wanted the crown, but I 
didn't work for it. Mm -hmm. And the way you work for it is through really building up your inner self-esteem. Yeah, and so just I, yeah, never giving up. Never giving up and believing try, in try. that and being proud of who you are, right? Like showcasing that beautiful smile and not letting the judges think that That's you're hesitant cool. or resistant at Aww. any point. And I think, I think that confidence really is the way any girl wins a pageant. Is wow. there anything that you did to build yourself up a little bit more or bring yourself up? Like, uh, did you always yeah. have confidence growing up? Or I don't, you... I don't think so. I don't um, think any of us. Do. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. Really it's born hard. Confident? No. I don't Me? Think so. <laughs> yeah, except for from uh, the beginning, flawless. Okay. <laughs> She literally came out of the womb and was like, I'm here. Hi, Mom. Put yeah. me in a pageant. Slide. I'm ready to go. And tell yeah. us, um, you're still in school. Um, yes. What are you looking for in the future? Do you want oh, to man. enter Miss Colorado? Yes, I do plan on entering Miss Colorado at some point. Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't quite figured out Miss America, Miss USA, Miss Earth, Miss whatever. So many wow. roots. Yeah. yeah, I definitely yeah. do see a future in pageantry, at least once mm. again, to yeah. try it out to see it because I have seen its worth and I've seen and how you much. Have experience. Yeah, in exactly. It, you know? and, I'm, yeah. and I think my favorite part of pageantry, I was telling her, is the people that I've met through this experience. Oh, I would have never met you guys wonderful. had this not come oh, in my yeah. way. You know? I think that that's your future career goal is not to be in pageantry forever. It's no, not yeah. to be a model, <laughs> entertainment. Think. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> this is something that's you know just building your resume and your self esteem. Mm -hmm. So please tell us about your future plans because yeah. I know that everyone is really excited to hear or about it. Or some of your accomplishments it. because we oh, yeah. oh yes! I know. I <laughs> she is on the best and brightest oh. list on the Gazette. Excuse me, that's such a huge so tell accomplishment. Us, tell us a little bit. Well, um, this, they actually awarded me this after I would met President Obama for the wow. third time. Oh my and gosh. So third? I said, wow. Third time? Third time. It's crazy, I know. And mm -hmm. I spent the entire summer, this last summer, in D.C. So. Being in that arena and being with all those politicians was one of the most inspiring things. So what things. would you like to aspire to be um, uh, after pageantry? After pageantry, way long down the road <laughs> is the Supreme Court Justice. I mean, I have to wow. be pretty long down the road to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, you can do it by like 40. Yeah, easy. I'll just be the youngest <laughs> Supreme Court Justice. This is like 20 yeah, years you're old. Well you take on, me. You're well on your way. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Um, but I, I like rap a lot too. I oh love rap. What? I'm terrible like at it. I was just gonna say, isn't that weird? Are you gonna rap bad and bougie for us? Right now? I'm, not, I'm not good at rapping. I rapped in my um, high school graduation speech, and what? everyone was like, "What is this no girl way. doing?" It's, it's on YouTube. It's really funny, wow. actually. What can we search it up as? It's what just is um, it? Serene sing probably high school graduation. Okay, we'll, we'll be putting it's that on our social funny. media. Yeah. Sure. That's amazing. There we go. But it's like the pageant queen rap and then Supreme Court Justice. I was like, I will be the first Supreme Court Justice that Who raps rap all the decisions. And, and like has one yeah. Miss Colorado Instead team. of a gavel, yeah. it's kind of just like a DJ oh squeak. Hey guys, <laughs> there we go. Here it comes. I'm really about to drop some law right now. Oh, That's man. amazing. What? Yes, yes. Oh. Bring out the big cup. The goblet of fire. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yes, this is exciting. Um, this was actually my national championship that I won in eighth grade. And oh. so in, I've been doing speech and debate for seven years. I'm a speech and debate coach right now. So wow. I help nice. students. On, in high school? Mm, yeah. Okay, great. So I help awesome. students online who can't afford coaches. Basically, I volunteer oh. my hours helping students that don't have the money to afford a coach. Because in high school, I actually never had a coach, which oh, is crazy. In middle yeah. school, too. They was constantly focused on football and volleyball and stuff like that, and they scratched the money for speech and debate. Oh. So do you feel like you've gotten any backlash from the Indian community? Or, I mean, has your community in general, I guess, mm -hmm. in, in Colorado, have they supported your whole journey? I mean, maybe yeah. not in the beginning, but at least now? Do you think yeah. that you've kind of changed the way that they see pageant? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I think I've seen two different extremes, right? So I've okay. seen like Bania Bazaar and Just Punjabi and plenty of it, the Indian community that has outreached and supported me like none other, yeah. like mm -hmm. as if I was their second family. MacDougall, oh. these are people that wow, reached out yeah, to me and made me feel like, hey, we are so proud of you, we got your back. Yeah. Oh. And then there was the other side of people like, you know, um, aunties that are like, why? Why is she doing this? <laughs> yeah, Who does right? she think she is? You know? What's happening? Yeah. Why are you yeah. Yeah. Like Beauty pageants. Like yeah, yeah, and they all exactly see pageantry as like girls. I mean, here's the perception I used to have too that these girls are fake. These girls are all about their body. These yeah. girls only yep. do makeup. They don't have a personality. They don't mm. have knowledge. There's nothing really attached There's to them. There's nothing their attached to them. It's just superficial. You know, you mm, get up yeah. there, you do a superficial question, you leave. And that's the way I saw it too. But I think. I think a lot of that has been changed, especially with my outreach. Wow. I hope right. so, at least. That's, that's my goal. your intelligence, that's goal. because you're not just a face, you yeah. have beauty and <laughs> Yeah, you have so Thank many you. things going for you. And Thank you so much for watching our first ever guest special on The Vibe. And thank you yeah. for being with us today. Yeah, I had such a great time. Thank oh, you guys for having me. It was so me. great learning awesome. about you, and you're definitely a trailblazer. 
for sure. <laughs> so please follow us on social media and make sure that you follow Serene and all of her multi accomplishments. I, it does not mean that they necessarily hate you or that it's evil. It's just that it comes from a place of mildly Wanting. envious. Yeah, envious mm -hmm. or jealous, um, you know, depths. Yeah. And that's unfortunate because I, in that, 